Yes friends, as part of this session, let's understand about concat method and also we are going to understand predefined concat method of string class and also we are going to write our own logic for concat method also okay up to first understand about predefined method that is concat method or logic up so yeah simple logic within this concat method of a string class the written type of this concat method is a string okay written type of this method is what a string okay public a string it is written in a string object within this method we are having the logic as what means observe it will access the existing object data what is existing object i will let you know okay observe here it will logic to access the existing object data getting object data and this existing object data will be added with argument string object data observe here it will access the existing object data getting and this data will be added to added to the parameter or argument getting parameter or argument argument string object data getting string object data so here logic to access the existing object data observe here think that we have created a string object it is having data as a b c which is a string object because of this statement string object has been created think that okay because of this statement string object has been created okay now and yes we'll refer this object okay yes we'll refer this object now definitely can we call here is yes that concat yes we can call is yes that concat method whenever we have created an object then we can access all the methods of this class getting now a start concat concat method is available within string class okay now observe here okay observe here on this object reference variable it is string and this class is also string so concat method is accessible it is a valid call to call concat method okay now concat method argument uh, is string type let it be d e yeah okay now this concat method return type is what string object okay observe here it is having a logic to access the existing object data getting now yes dot concat what is s here this one now on which object you have called on s yes object now s yes is the existing object that's it getting this is the existing object okay so logic to access existing object data and this hmm, and this data will be added to the parameter or argument string object data it is accessing existing object data and this data will be added to parameter string object data d e f yeah, getting object data and observe here and here the the okay observe here access the existing data and this data will be added to the okay string object data to form to form to form a new data observe here to form to form a new 
data observe here accessing existing object data till here and now adding and this data will be added to parameter or argument string object data is yes, added to form what hmm, to form a new data and getting now this new data will be will be available within the within the new string object getting within the new string object this is the implementation of concat method up so here to form the new data a new data is this where it will form this new data will be available within a string object yes it will create a new string object and now now it will have some reference getting this is separate object and this is separate object if you want to hold that object means have one reference variable getting now if you print sop of s1 what will be the value a b c d e f getting a b c d e f this will be the output to us this is the predefined concat method implementation okay observe here as part of this statement i am using string class constructor having argument as mm, string okay observe here within string class we are having one constructor having argument as what string argument having some implementation okay having some implementation to initialize what to initialize observe here strictly this a b c will not be available as data within the string object okay it will be available within value array getting that is char type array getting primitive char array if you want you can just open the source code here and you can just check that one okay now observe here observe here just i am going to convert this into the actual pictorial representation observe observe so within this what is the logic logic to initialize initialize the char array referred with value what is this char array means you are having one final instance char array which is referred with value getting okay? and this is private friends okay which is private whenever i do call i do write this statement jvm internally what does it do means it will create one new string object because of new keyword getting observe here i'm just modifying this pictorial representation to other form observe that one properly okay now concat method is there and you are having one value array that is char array okay just a minute it is that thing that you are having one instance final array okay now this is what our string class class string okay class string within this you are having one private final char array with the variable as what value that is the logic within this constructor to initialize the char array value mm, within the within the object okay within the object now observe here because of this new keyword what happens here object has been initialized now you are calling this constructor getting okay? constructor string class constructor having argument as what a string so within this uh, string class constructor having argument as string what is the logic initialize the logic to initialize the char array getting okay? char array 
value which is referred with value within the string object within the object okay now here you will have can array value which is going to refer i mean another object we discussed even of course even arrays also at our java they are objects getting we how to create arrays in this way only right if it is like char array how to create char array that is character array char array c equals to new char array some size okay so here you are using what new keyword okay so even they are objects okay now it will initialized with blocks so it is having three blocks a b c these and all char because value is what char array now this after executing this constructor why this char array value string object has been created because that is the logic within the string constructor having argument as what a string you are calling that constructor getting observe here the same thing getting now each and every block will have what index within the array now we are assigning that with uh, we are assigning or we are making yes reference variable to refer this object this entire object will refer with yes variable getting that is the same meaning but we are going to represent the data in this way getting of course it is also correct but we want to customize concat method right i mean we are about to write our own logic right so to do that we want this analysis okay in some interviews definitely they will ask can you write your own concat method without using predefined concat method okay simple thing we can write okay observe so this is the exact memory representation because of this instruction at memory getting now now after calling a start concat method with argument as a string what happens observe here now i'm going to transfer i mean i'm going to convert this particular object into uh, into same fashion same thing here you'll have what mm, it will create what observe here this this new data this is the new data right how you are getting new data there observe this concat method having logic to what access old object data yes is what old object only right yes is old object only so it will access this data and this data will be added to observe here this data will be added to hmm, parameter or argument string object data observe here parameter or argument string object data to form a new data yes it has formed the new data now this now this new data will be available observe friends within the new string object getting new string object here it is creating new string object because of this new string object getting there will be this representation observe i'll give the clarity to you observe just a minute this is what is char object now it will create concat method will create string object getting char array value and this will refer this object and this one is what yes one okay yes one mister you have said that it will write that data this new data will be available within the new string object now observe here creating a new string object means simple thing simple thing here this concat method will call string of a b c d e f that's it getting 
न्यू स्ट्रिंग ऑफ ए बी सी डी ई एफ बिकॉज ऑफ दिस स्टेटमेंट दिस वन विल गेट हैपन अब जाओ न्यू स्ट्रिंग कंस्ट्रक्टर हैविंग आर्ग्यूमेंट एज वॉट अ स्ट्रिंग अब जो ही है स्ट्रिंग कंस्ट्रक्टर हैविंग आर्ग्यूमेंट एज वॉट अ स्ट्रिंग वॉट इज अ लॉजिक विद इन दिस लॉजिक टू इनिशलाइज कैर अरे अब जो हियर इट विल इट विल क्रिएट द कैर अरे एंड इट विल इनिशलाइज दिस वन एंड वॉट इज इंडेक्स जीरो वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव लेट से ओके सो बिकॉज ऑफ Because of concat method, hmm. Because of concat method, this one will get happen at memory. Do you think? Now observe here. Observe here. Here I didn't mention one thing. If you do observe properly, what is that? Observe perfectly and very clearly, Mister. You have represented A B C object. A B C. data available in an object a b c observe friends properly a b c a b c available object and that has been converted to this form getting and that has been converted to this form actual form we need this form to discuss our customized logic and the resultant data that is new data which is forming because of concat method this data has been formed and that data is being as hmm being as a new one within the new object getting new data within the new object now observe here where is where is def object did i write anywhere def data within any of the object separately like this def did i write anywhere no i didn't write anywhere now observe here even that object will be available okay def okay which will have anonymous reference it will not have any reference okay so observe here concat method what it will do access existing object data and this data will be added to parameter or argument string object parameter right this one okay here strictly it will not be like this it will be even in this okay no it will be directly d e f because did i use here anywhere new operator here it is going to act as hmm primitive string hmm string data not pre i mean user defined data type observe here string s1 equals to a b c what it is type of s is what friends primitive string now string s2 equals to new string of a b c you are using new operator you are using a constructor we have discussed this one at our earlier session just let me brush once recap okay so this is s2 is what user defined data type or reference variable getting reference variable so here i am not using any constructor i am passing directly a literal a literal so being as this one no char hari okay observe okay now observe now observe so i hope if i print sop of s1 what is the answer to us a b c d e f yeah. i'm so here concat method is available within the string class which is having argument as a string having return type as what string i think and this string class is having one final instance char array which is referring with variable called value and string class is having one constructor that constructor 
argument is what strain within that constructor we are having logic to initialize the getting logic to initialize this char array which is referring by value variable okay now the concat method logic is simple observe here it will it will access the existing object data observe here think that i have created an object because of this statement okay because of this statement i have created an object so this one has form of course this one only but we have to be so specific we have to know the exact things okay to write our own logic okay that's why i'm writing this one understand now so this object is formed or created by jvm at memory because of this statement okay now 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 i am calling s dot concat now s yes is the old object so here accessing existing object means this s object data will be what hmm old object data observe here char array is available within this this object only so this char array is the data of existing object getting to so existing object data is what char array values only so now it will access that data getting it will take that data and what it will do hmm what it is going to do it will it will add getting it will add that accessed data and this and this data a b c accessed from old object that is existing object will be added to the parameter or argument string object data also here what is the concat method argument type string it is a string object so string object is available here now this data will be added added to this accessed data to form what new data to form what guys to form a new data this new data will be available within new string object so meaning is what it is creating a new object a string object okay so creating new string object means observe here new string object means it will use this statement definitely so here the representation will be in this format getting okay? same thing observe here you are calling string constructor having argument as what observe here a b c d e f new hmm, accessed data plus parameter or argument string object data will form a new data that new data passed as argument to a string getting okay? and now it will create string object and char array will be initialized because of string argument string i mean string constructor having argument as what string that was the logic right yes in the same fashion now now it will return an object to us this object it will return to us we can hold that one by using any string reference variable let it be as what s1 now i'm printing that s1 so it will give answer as what a b c d e f now observe here one small thing okay one small thing we are having one operator here which acts as a concat operator okay concat operator okay what is that okay let it be first let me compile this one and show the output later we go for our customization okay i'm so that is writing our own logic okay